do you think we follow each other what do i mean by follow so all of us have seen ants in our home or in our backyard happily following each other one ant one ant moving behind the next ant and all of them are moving in the same way and as a kid we have tried to disturb their movement as well but they again go and make their own line but then do human beings follow each other yes we know we do not move behind each other the way ants do but we might be following each other in some different manner what different manner let me give you some examples assume you go to this restaurant and there are two choices there are two things you can order one is a burger another is a pizza and let's say you like pizza more but then you look around at all the people and you see each of them is eating a burger there is not even a single person in the restaurant who is who has ordered a pizza and is eating it what will you do now will you go and order burger or will you go ahead and order pizza let me give you another example you are going on this road and suddenly the road ends the road gets split in two parts one part of the road goes towards the right and other part goes towards the left and then again you see at the people around you and most of the people they are moving towards right almost everybody is taking the road towards the right what will you do in this case will you go towards the right or will you be bold enough to move and go towards the left side where nobody is going we don't know the answer to this question do we follow or not what do we do in these situations is in the clip which is coming next the gentleman in the elevator now is a candid star these folks who are entering the man with a white shirt the lady with a trench coat and subsequently one other member of our staff will face the rear and you'll see how this man in the trench coat <laughs> maintain his individuality but little by little he looks at his watch but he's really making an excuse for turning just a little bit more to the wall now we we'll try it once again here's the candid subject here comes the candid camera staff three of them at least and uh, this man has apparently been in groups before <laughs> now here's a fella with his hat on in the elevator First he makes a full turn to the rear and Charlie closes the door. A moment later, we'll open the door. Everybody's changed positions. <laughs> now we'll see if we can use Now we'll see if we can use group pressure for some good. Now, in a moment on Charlie's signal, everybody turns forward. Notice they take off their hats. And now, do you think we could reverse the procedure? Watch. So what did we see just now in the clip? So we have seen that the person in the elevator, when he looks at everybody, was turned towards the wall also turns towards the wall and how silly howsoever silly it might sound why will one turn towards the wall but when we'll see other people around us doing some silly stuff because of our sense of conformity we also tend to do the same so in the examples which we have discussed before when you were in a restaurant it might occur to you that probably everything in the restaurant except burger is spoiled and hence everybody is eating burger or there is an 
offer on burger maybe some saturday offer and everybody is getting a discount and you might also go and order a burger in another example when there was a road and one of it went towards left and the other went towards right and everybody is going towards right you might feel there is something wrong with the road towards the left maybe some construction work is going on or it leads to let's say some place where nobody wants to go something like that and you mostly take the road towards the right these are two very simple examples but while doing almost everything in our life we follow others our decisions are not independent you would have encountered it again and again in your life when you have to maybe choose a subject after 10th or you have to decide your career we do not take this decision all by ourselves we take all the feedback from our good friends from our parents from our teachers and then we weigh all these options and then take a decision so we almost follow others in almost every aspect of our life 